One of the key components to successful dressing techniques for men is, of course, their shirt and tie. And there are many shirts on the market these days, ranging anywhere from $100 to almost $1,000. There's a lot of great choices. Keep in mind several key components. You want to be measured for your shirt, so you want to know the size of your neck. And that is ranging from 15 to 18-ish approximately. But another key element is, of course, the sleeve length, and you want to be measured for that. I've noticed that many of the designer shirts in our stores today will give you the perfect neckline measurement for you. However, the sleeve length is the challenge. The designer shirts will often say, 34, 35 sleeve. So the reality is it could be anywhere from 34 to 35 inches and that might not be your exact measurement. And when you're getting dressed, you want to make sure that the sleeve length is correct and then when you put your jacket on that you would have approximately a quarter to a half inch of the shirt cuff showing so that it would be perfect. And when you're tying your tie, you want a dimple in the tie and the appropriate size knot in the tie. And that's going to depend on your bone structure, your facial uh, jawline, and also the size of your throat and the length as well. So if you are very thick through the throat, you're going to want a medium size knot in your tie. If you have a very thin, slender throat, then you'll want a smaller uh, tie knot. So it could be the half Windsor, the full Windsor, the double, and there's a a lot of choices there. Another big tip for men's dress shirts is going to be the width of the collar span. So if you have a very wide, thick throat, you're not going to want the widest of collar spans because it's going to make your throat look thicker. So it's not really about what is in, it's really about what looks good on you. And it's that attention to detail that's going to make the difference. So you might want to spend the extra on custom shirts, however, it's not always necessary. You want a fabric that's easy to care for, and shirts are supposed to be sent out to the laundry service, not have your wife do them. Unless you have a great ability to iron shirts, the time and the patience, just send the items out. In addition to the collar span and the length of the tips of the collar and even the height of the collar, you're going to want the shirt to have a body cut that works for your body and that could be slender or uh, very abundant and it's going to depend. You want it to fit you properly and have the stitches per inch, very important, and even the quality of the buttons is vital as well. When you're tucking your shirt in, you're going to want to tuck it into your undergarments and then like making a bed in the military, you're going to take these shirt tails, uh, the side pieces, and fold them over on either side and then tuck it in to your trousers. Then you do the blazooning effect and you pull it up and slightly over. That means that if you're reaching, sitting, standing, or bending, your shirt will always stay tucked into your trousers the entire day and look absolutely fabulous. So color, quality, and styling in shirts is vital. A white shirt is always more powerful than a colored shirt. If you're choosing a colored shirt, such as on a business casual day, you might choose something in the blue range. Pattern shirts are also effective in the way of a stripe. Keep in mind if you're a slender man, you can have a wide, narrow, wide, narrow combination stripe. But if you are a very solid man of substance, then you would not want a really narrow, narrow a pattern in your shirt in the way of stripes. So every day makes a difference and you would like a selection of a minimum of 10 shirts because a dress shirt should be only worn once. On casual Fridays I'll often see men have their shirt collar open and no tie. Nothing wrong with that. However, you will want to buy an undershirt that has a v-neck rather than a rounded neck. And when you're choosing your undergarment for the under your shirt, make sure it's Pima cotton, P-I-M-A. That means it's 
great cotton and it's going to be beautiful and wear well. And of course, make sure your undergarment, your undershirt, if that collar is open, is absolutely pure white. It's all in the details. Gloria Starr, Executive Image Consultant, working internationally with clients since 1983.